So on this season of Survivor, uh, being winners at war, uh, I feel like any time a Survivor you have to take your job as a jury member very seriously. But um, especially now, I mean, there's $2 million at stake. And so as a jury member, uh, you really need to take your time and give everybody fair uh, thought process on, on their game and who they are and who they are as a winner before being able to make the decision on uh, you know who should win this season. I got to play with Michelle at the beginning of the game and I felt like Michelle never, she, she's not somebody who for me is a real leader, who's a take charge kind of person. And so that's a quality I really look for in someone, especially winning Survivor. And I feel like she has completely followed the entire time in this game and she's never been in charge. And that's important when I weigh in on who I'm gonna vote for. However, she's very likable. She's a nice girl and uh, she's done well at the end here with challenges. So that does speak uh, volumes for uh, Michelle that she hasn't gone down without a fight and she's very good at puzzles so she's had a couple of really good immunity runs here and so that does look uh, great for her resume. I don't know Tony at all, I've never met him but he, I can't help but love the guy. He's so incredibly likable and the way he takes charge at Tribal Council, uh, his the personality he has for me as a winner, if you hit, if you go down the victory tree, he's hit every branch for me. He's made big moves, he's won immunities, he's full of personality, he's not afraid to speak up in tribal council, and I can, I mean, he's hit everything for me, and I really think that um, so far uh, he's in the lead to win this game, but he has done everything that you need to do in order to be not just the winner of the season, but to be one of the best winners ever. So Natalie was like my sister at the beginning of this game, and what I love an underdog story. Everybody does. At the beginning of this season, I kind of looked at it as like the NCAA tournament and all you know the powerhouses that were coming in to play this game, but watch out for those mid-majors because they could come in and, and they can create some problems and and possibly in some major upsets and, and win a season like this. And Natalie has been that. She gets voted off at first and she never gave up. She fought the entire time and she played a whole incredible game at Extinction. It's not her fault that she wasn't in the game, you know, um, that she wasn't in the game able to play like everyone else is, but she did what she, what she could at Extinction and she fought every single day and that's impressive because it was hard over on Extinction, I know, because I was with her from the beginning. And I very much could see myself voting for Natalie too at the end. If it became between her and Tony, it's gonna be a very close call.